remember a bloke called Lewis was told that he had to play 5 8. He said, I'd like to play lock. Made a big success of the six jumper, didn't he? The king. <laughs> Harrigan blows time on. This is his 14th origin. Eight times under Harrigan. The Maroons have won. And that is O'Mealy, is it? He will be so happy and relieved to get that one out of the road. Stevens takes up number two. Muir now. The old dog is back. 30 metres out from his own line. Play number three down. O'Mealy says, give me another go. O'Mealy on four. 34 metres out from his own line. Stevens, give me one more. And Jason Stevens. Overlooked when the side was originally selected, takes his second hit up. Barrett puts the kick in. Falling back is the big fella. Sale, his mouth goes up. 20 metres out from his own line. Origin 2 is up and running. Only on the wide world of sports as Takiri goes across off the left wing. And he's forced back by the blue. The ball came away. Green finds Sailor on the right. And Sailor is grounded 30 metres out from the Queensland line. Now from Campy in a dummy half, Darren Smith goes down the short side on the right of the ground. Eastern side. Now Sivan Asiva. He is Hill. Three-man Blues tackle on his own 40-metre line. Campy in a dummy half. Now away for the boot. And the charge down on the Lockyer kick. And it came down to the Blues. Didn't come off the arms, and Harrigan will play on for Fittler. Now for O'Mealy. 30 metre out from the Queensland line. Prittis runs an angle. Gidley, oh, Girdler, I should say, is tackled out there. With McDougall in a dummy half now. Muir takes them on, gets sideways to the defence. 35 metres out from the... Maroon's line and a penalty, the first of the game. Goes the Blues' way. It's against Kevin Campion. Against the Queensland defence. Slowing the play, the ball down. Lockyer's first kick in the game. Rickardson. Rickardson was pulling the pressure on it. And that was one of the strengths of Queensland in the first game, the pressure they put on New South Wales kickers. A pleasing sight to see Luke Rickardson go through and do exactly the same. Came up with possession. Campion, his hand in stopping the football being played. I wonder how long they thought about this decision, whether to kick for goal or keep the pressure on. It would be a big boost to mount first points. Now, well, Queensland may have won game one, but they have reacted with a change in their defensive line. I watched that first set of six cast my eye across the line. Darren Smith, who's playing at left centre, actually defended in a locked forward position on the right-hand side of the field. Now, last time, Paul Green defended on the right-hand side. He's now on the left, and Daniel Wagon was defending at left centre. Now, you'll remember that Matthew Gidley made Darren Smith look pretty ordinary on a couple of occasions early in the last game. Coach Wayne Bennett has reacted, even though they won that contest. Ryan Girdler, one of three Panthers in the side. 75% success rate at Origin Football. It's on its way, but it's curling away and taken in the end goal. Wow, flying Darren Lockyer. Links up with Sailor, who gives it to Bowman. Spectacular stuff from Darren Lockyer. To the receiver now, looking at the referee, saying, when is enough enough? Now, Webke. That's three, Queensland two, looking for... Go forward from Webke like they've never had before. The world's number one prop forward. With no talus behind him tonight. Penalty against Prittis. Interfering with a man trying to play the ball. And a good call there from Bill Harrigan. There's no doubt that Luke Prittis pulled the leg of Russell Bowden as he was trying to get up and play it. It was fairly late in the tackle count as well. But that will not please Wayne Pearce. So Webke it is, picked up, they got him up to the horizontal, then they gentled him down, Sivanasiva now, as Queensland 
see some of New South Wales's territory as Campion went to throw a pass to Bowden then he seemed to lose his grip on it and took the lesser of two evils now it's Bowden Bowden up to the 30 meter line a struggling run plenty of fiber about it though Campion for green green dummies for Siva to Siva and he's taken down by O'Mealy back for Campion Campion he finds Lockout Lockout uh, gets the ball away Webke couldn't take the pass and Hughes has got the ball in front of the goal mouth Gidley now 15 meters out from the Blues line Hainsko using Fittler Fittler's got Girdler outside him cuts him out finds McDougal McDougal a weaving run fired up during the week I imagine by some of the comments from Wendell Saylor and Gordon Tallis O'Mealy again Webke goes up and meets him O'Mealy the youngest player on the park 20 years of age and Muir puts it down on Fittler scrum will pack 42 meters out not quite that Queensland loose head and feed unusual to see Adam Muir put that kind of ball down because it's such a big part of his armory both when he was with Newcastle and the Northern Eagles loved to take the inside ball from men going across let's have a little bit of a look at the defense as we see the respective pack weights not much difference there Lockyer inside to Takiri the combination that saw them over the line at the second minute of State of Origin 1 at Suncorp now Myers offloads for Lockyer he does the dancing then puts the ball on the ground and Myers is there to play the ball six more tackles is the call from Harrigan Webke Webke put down by the front row as Stevens and O'Mealy middle of the 30 meter line now for Green Green gets it away from Bowden that's the forward pass Crowd are a pretty good judge those in line with it they let go with an almighty groan yeah, already we've seen some a little bit of fumbling and a little bit more slowness in passing Andrew Voss indicated we'd had showers just before the game. Both these teams have got to come to terms with the fact the ball's just that little bit more slippery. Got to take a little more time with their passing. So McDougal yeah, that's takes the now. first play off the scrub. It's 32 metres out from his own line. Back for Fittler, a dummy half. Fittler away to Rooster's teammate, Luke Rickardson. Rickardson playing it back for Prittis now. Prittis offloading for Fletcher. Fletcher picked up and put on his back. He'll be the last one up, that's for sure. Tacklers were Campion and Webke. Now for Fittler. Fittler away for Gidley. Gidley is met by Wagon. Really up in his face. Rickardson now. Taking it back at the cross to be tackled there by Carlor. Prittis. Nobody really to give it to. He has to put the kick in from dummy half. Just a little bit of a mistake from Takiri. And he's met there by... Gidley, he beat Gidley, and he's tackled 20 metres out from his own line. Myers now. Prittis blocking down the middle with the help of Ainsco. This New South Wales defence is getting off its line much quicker than it did in Origin 1. They're racing up, trying to meet these big Queenslander fours before they get momentum up. This is Carlaw under the tackle of Ainsco and Stevens as they go to the right and pick up a running Sivanasiva. And Sivan Asiva, he beat the attempted tackle of Adam Muir. The ball comes out, penalty Queensland. The crowd may agree, but there was definitely two players in the tackle, despite the fact that Adam Muir dropped off. You can see there Muir being beaten by Sivan Asiva. It came a wrestle between Brad Fittler and the second rower. But because Muir had already been involved in the tackle, that is a penalty. over nine minutes gone New South Wales a penalty attempt unsuccessful from Girdler Bowden now put down inside the 20 now lost it he's lost the ball Fittler comes up clapping his hand so does Girdler Rusty Bowden puts it down let's have a look at it well it was a great chance for Queensland he was a little bit unlucky here Russell Bowden you see as he's falling he takes the knee or the leg of Adam McDougall, that impact forced the ball loose. But gee, it is a big break for the Blues. First tackle, Girdler. 
They talk it. Well, that's a penalty to the Blues. No, it's not. He's gone the other way. Oh, Girdler was given no peace at all. And Queensland get a penalty right in front. And Bill Harrigan's call was that tackle was not completed, that Ryan Girdler had no right to put this ball on the ground and start to play it. He's actually being held up there by the Queenslanders, and that's better than holding down sometimes. And Girdler starts his play the ball before the Queenslanders were finishing with him. The referee had not called hell. Girdler had not got to the ground. They purposely hold him up so that he can't get to the ground and play the ball. He was watching it within his rights to put it on the ground and start his play the ball. Fair penalty. So Queensland. They get their first chance. Block here. From right in front, 20 metres out. It is online. The flags are up. Queensland 2. New South Wales yet to score. Well travelled back to halfway for the resumption. Big welcome to our viewers in the United Kingdom. Through Sky Sports over there. Papua New Guinea. Down in New Zealand, you've had a big day today and a big win. Congratulations. We come back to you on the Nine Network on the first tackle since the resumption. And Queensland leading 2-0 off the boot of Lockyer. Bowden. He would be breathing a lot easier, particularly after he lost the ball in that tackle when they had a very good chance. It turned out they came away with two points anyway. Carlo on his own 40-meter line. In the side, replacing Gordon Tallis. Myers. 34 metres on five tackles for the Maroons. And Campion is forced to kick. It's not such a bad kick either as he gets it down inside the 10 metre line. McDougall brings it back. And you can see that that top surface of Stadium Australia, quite slippery. As Hughes runs it out from dummy half possession vastly Queensland's way Gidley he went into origin one with only a couple of games under his belt he should be much uh, fitter for this uh, for this occasion Adam Muir now out to the 40 meter line Fletcher superb game against Newcastle just the other day Fittler keeps it on the ground, rolling around. Sailor. Sailor able to stand in the tackle of Fittler. Lockyer comes away, throws the dummy. Gets the pass back for Daniel Wagon. Wagon tackled by Barrett. But Lockyer, when he's able to get into a situation where they isolate the defence against him, he will cut you to ribbons. Just got to be better communication in defence when Darren Lockyer brings the ball back. It was a poor kick. I don't think it went where it was intended off the boot of Brad Fittler. Gave Queensland good field position, although that pass we brought them undone. Again, Lockyer getting involved. So the fullback is living up in the back line again. Bowden. There they are from up top. The Harvey Norman. State of Origin 2, the kick from Lockyer, fielded back there in his own corner by Ainsko. And away it goes from Gidley for Hughes. Newcastle to Newcastle. And Ainsko is there quickly to make a good duck. A good run by Ainsko out to the 30-metre line. So from Barrett, it's across for Fletcher. Fletcher taken by Darren Smith and put down. As Fittler finds himself again, a dummy half, goes for a run, comes across the ground, then he takes players across the halfway line. Strong run by Fittler. Now Barrett joins in, puts in a kick, Mark Hughes is after it, gets another kick on it, and another kick on it. Now offside is Girdler, it is with Lockyer. Lockyer gets the ball away. This is Bowman. Bowman will be tackled yeah, 10 metres out from his own line. Sailor this time. 
Well, New South Wales almost had too many troops chasing that. They got in each other's road, but nice execution from Trent Barrett. Ran to the line. No cover defence from Queensland. Myers shrugs off tacklers and picks up 12 tough metres. Carlo. This is what they do so well. Big men running fast. Quick play the balls. Bowden, Wagon. They go down the blind side. They're 40 metres away from the Blues line. Nathan Fien goes on. Young Cowboy on Deboo. As the kick goes up off the boot of Lockyer. And Mark Hughes takes it successfully and runs it away to be pummeled into the ground by Darren Smith. You see Darren Smith in field there. I pointed out earlier that he's not playing in the left centre position. Daniel Wagon is over there. I think Wayne Bennett would be happy with his first few minutes. A couple of good tackles on Gidley. A couple of incisive runs off Lockyer. Daniel Wagon at left centre and not 5'8". He's proving a good value there for his coach. Good look there. Now Barrett. Fletcher. Fletcher angles back towards Sivan Asiva. Who accepts him and pulls him down. 2-0 the score. Penalty goal to Darren Lockyer for Queensland. Right, the match just starting to become interesting at the moment. Both teams just starting to explore each other's defence a little bit. 20 minutes into the game, plenty of them resting with hands on hips. Wally Lewis in the commentary position with us tonight. As Lockyer gives it away for Sailor, and Sailor has his legs taken from under him by Fitler. The crowd love it. And this is Green. Or is it Bowman, I beg your pardon? Fien is slotted into dummy half, and this is Lottie Takiri. And Adamson's about to come into the game. One of the big strike forces that I'm sure Wayne Pierce will be expecting. Some big inroads from Adamson. Now, Webke. Barrett and Prittis making the tackle on Shane Webke. Now away for the kick from Paul Green along the ground into no man's land and Mark Hughes had to come up from the deep very quickly and did very well to take that ball at speed again not a particularly good kick from Paul Green as Adam McDougall tries to beat one cannot do so tackled 42 out centre field here's Adam Muir now crossing the halfway line taken by Campion looking to unload the ball on the ground it went backwards Stevens picked it up and fired it away Rickardson is with it over the halfway line but nothing offering there. To the short side for Adamson. And Matt Adamson, who played for Australia in that Super League Australian side. On debut at origin level, Barrett. 30 metres away from the line. Still no use of Craig Gower. As Fittler puts a high bomb up. Lockyer's there, and Lockyer takes it successfully. Enormous pressure. And they have got an injury problem, I believe, Daniel Wagon, Andrew. They certainly have, Ray. Daniel Wagon's been hobbling a little bit. He uh, suffered a bit of a cork for about three or four minutes ago. He's trying to run it out right at the moment, but if New South Wales do pick that up, when they have the ball, they will be testing him right out. Sailor there. There's Wagon, number six. Fee. Webkey. And Webke taken down by Muir up the top. And Fittler is really working hard out there That's in areas that you don't see a lot of him. That's six, six in defence from New South Wales. They've forced Paul Green to kick 15 out from his own line. And that means the Blues will come back in tremendous field position. 45 out from their opponent's line. Two interchanges for Queensland, just the one for the Blues. There's Gidley now. Just inside the 40-metre line, the Blues on another attacking raid as Barrett finds Adamson. Grown from the crowd, big tackling. Fletcher, cut out pass, finding Girdler. Now the Blues are 20 metres away from the line. Fletcher again, now it's Stevens. Stevens 12 away. Back now for Luke Critters. Critters gets it away, Barrett lets it go. Fitler didn't get a catch on it. It's knocked down by Queensland. And it'll be a scrum. Loose head and feed will go to the Blues. They're deliberately played out there by Daniel Wagon. It's been a good spell for New South Wales. 
Trent Barrett starting to go to the line, and that's a good sign. Matt Adamson, very awkwardly in this tackle, fortunately onto his back. The crowd groaned, but that's okay. Andrew was talking about aiming some plays at Daniel Wagon while he's still recovering. And that's where that play was going. So here they go again with a fresh set of six. And it's Gidley. 16 metres away from the Queensland line. On the charge is Adamson. Taken by Sivan Asiva. And Beatty. Prittis, a long ball. Barrett for Fiddler. Fiddler for Hughes. Girdler, Girdler from McDougall. Now they need a quick play of the ball. Muir. Prittis. Fitler. Second man. Barrett. Barrett. Oh! Pinched out of midair there by Green, I think it is. It's Green, all right. Probably the smallest man on the field. But he rose to great heights on that occasion. And looked wonderful from this part of the field. Trent Barrett taking them on. Two men going low. He was looking for Jason Stevens on the outside. But Green read it beautifully. Just a further indication there, Peter. We talked about Trent Barrett playing halfback in this team. He will play second receiver on the right-hand side of the field. Fittler will get him wider. He created half a chance there. There'll be more of that to come. Fifth tackle against the Maroons. And they kick from 31 metres out. So they should come up in fairly good field position. Again, the Blues. McDougall beats one. And is taken by Sivan Asiva and Beatty. The defence by New South Wales in the Queensland half of the field is a real big improvement on game one. They've got a goal, I think, to keep Queensland inside their own 30 before they kick on tackle five. So far, so good. Tritters then, finding Stevens. Jason his way 33 meters out from the line Barrett joins in works an angle with Fittler Fittler goes back across to Hughes Hughes takes the defense 22 meters out from the Queensland line now from Gidley finding Fletcher Fletcher pops it up for Fittler Fittler beats one doesn't beat Myers gets the pass away Hughes gets it on it goes wide Barrett's out there throws a dummy puts the kick in Sailor's there he passes Brilliant football, absolutely brilliant. Lockyer, Lockyer's away. Lockyer's outside the 40. He's been pursued and caught by Barrett. Well, what about the Queenslanders? Oh, outstanding, magnificent play from Wendell Saylor. Here he is again, centre field, looking to bust them up. Darren Lockyer cut them to pieces. The tide has turned in the twinkling of an eye. So here is Saylor again. That was just fantastic play by Sailor and Lockyer. The confidence of Sailor. How about the pickup of Lockyer. Feed. Lockyer. Lockyer puts a grubber in for Darren Smith. Work for Mark Hughes. Work for Mark Hughes. And Darren Smith does his job. Well, last week at Panthers Stadium, Darren Lockyer picked up a ball in his own in goal and threw it to Wendell Saylor, who went 106 metres to score a try. This time, it was Saylor to Lockyer. He didn't run the distance, but the confidence in the combination between these two players is something to behold. Picks up a difficult ball. The confidence to throw the pass. Look at the pick up from Lockyer, under pressure. This is state of origin. This is not in a park somewhere where you're not playing for anything. This is state of origin. And these two players play like they're in a park, enjoying themselves fine stadium in this park we're working in. Big crowd at this park. Absolutely. And referee Bill Harrigan just calling the time off, I can tell you. He's a Wales trainer. He's become infamous over the last couple of years for the work he gets through. He is having plenty to do out there at the moment, getting the water around. It's been Queensland under pressure for the last 10 or 15 minutes. What a game we've got at the moment. Perfectly balanced. Rain tumbling down. Not all that apparent. I suppose down in the, the hollows of this magnificent stadium but the rain quite heavy now three changes made by Wayne Bennett one by Wayne Pierce 
A Pierce coach side has never beaten a Bennett coach side. A statistic that undoubtedly the boy from Balmain would love to change. Here's a bust by Sivan Asiba. Gap closing. Now they press. Green. Then for Wagon. Wagon's pass. Battled away by Takiri. And Barrett wins the race for the ball. And as the rain tumbles down, that's what wins Origin games. Desperation. Loose ball on the ground. It's got to be a blue jersey that gets on it. Down in your own quarter, you really desperately need it. Here's a ball from Wagon. Look for an opportunity on a teammate. Couldn't get it there. Takiri knocks it back. Now it's up for grabs. Blue or Maroon. Blue wins this time. The urgency on the face of Trent Barrett says it all. 15 for the Blues is Michael Vella. As they come to the right for Fitler. Well, the kick is too big. Fitler calls on the troops. Get that out of your heads. Don't worry about it. I did it. Now let's face up. Let's number up. This is where Queensland are at their most dangerous. They've absorbed enormous pressure at their own end of the field. Got a good break from Lockyer. Get them field position. Seven to seven, nearly went straight through. Now the Blues need to muscle up in that area where the Queensland side have been so good in. Darren Smith taken down by a Fittler tackle. Now Myers. And driven into the ground by Vela and Gower. I might be wrong, but I... Here's Carlo! i feeling that Gower is one of the, the big trump cards in this New South Wales performance tonight. As Green goes away, finds Lockyer on the right. Myers comes back on the inside. Vela puts him down. 17 away from the Blues line. Green, Queensland attacking, and Hughes will let it go. That time it had a little bit too much on it. And I think it was a poor selection as well, Ray. Wrong side. Queensland only had three players that were going to be chasing through. The other side, they had them outnumbered about five to three. Well, there's what Wally's talking about. New South Wales have made a break down the middle. Girdler. 38 metres out. Gower finding Fletcher. Fletcher bounces off. Lays it back. Ainsco is with it. Provides it for Barrett. Barrett on the 30 metre line. Where are we going? That way. Said somebody out there and Barrett plays the ball. Now Muir. Muir's 17 now. Muir's 13 now. Muir to play at 12 away. Back for Gower. Gower to Fittler. Fittler on it goes. Barrett is with it. Back for Vela. Goes to ground. Picked up by Queensland. Lockyer in and away and away from another defender before being tackled by Gidley. Takiri now. And every time the Queensland captain and fullback touches the ball. Here they are losing it. Campion loses the ball on his own 30 metre line. Very strong hit there from Craig Gow, one on one. New South Wales again with an opportunity going wide to Gidley. Takes on Wagon. Can't beat him or the halfback green. 20 metres out from the line. Several tackles left on this set as Fletcher steps off his left foot and tries to go through. Now it is Gower. Gower! Gower's within a metre! Barrett this time. Out for his captain. Fitler off the hip to Hughes. And Hughes is forced down under Darren Smith and Paul Bowman. So the Blues with a chance now. Fitler. Turns it back for Michael Vella. And Vella will play it five metres out from the line. Fittler again. Puts the kick in. Too heavy. And the hands went straight to the head. Brad realised it was a poor kick. And I'm surprised that they did kick because they had numbers. That gave them possession, the strong tackle from Craig Gower. And really, have a look at the numbers here if you could have picked out the right men. Gee, there were holes galore. 2-0 in favour of Queensland. Penalty goal early in the game for Darren Lockyer. It's the only score we've got on the board. And against the clock, this is one of the lowest 
state of origin scoring matches we've ever seen. It may even be the lowest, I'm not quite sure. Webke now. 16 is Carl Webb. What a debut he had at Suncorp Stadium. Green. Very busy Paul Green. Now they go back for the boot of Nathan Fiend. And it's gone out on the full. Little question mark on Brad Fittler. Yeah, there's no communication there though whatsoever by the Queensland team. Very poor move tackle play. They decided to run the ball. Paul Green ran the ball to the blind side, elected to take the tackle. Lock, you had to run 30 metres to get to it. He was no chance of getting there. Here's Vela. Strong surge up the middle. 33 metres out from the line. Barrett again. Barrett cuts out a player. Rickardson's in space. Rickardson's going in. Rickardson's over. Luke Rickardson has scored. First try of the night. And it's taken half an hour and it's no surprise that Trent Barrett delivered the ball. Going to the line in numbers. This was the kick from Nathan Fiend on the last. Brad Fittler going through, putting pressure on him. Ball out on the full. Some good charges in the middle of the ruck followed, especially from Michael Vella. Barrett gets the ball. He goes to the line. As we freeze it here, you can see that this man on the inside was worried about what was happening in there. The gap opened up for Rickardson as play continues. Daniel Wagon looking inside to see who was covering Rickardson. The answer was nobody. And Luke Rickardson raced 25 metres to score. Beautiful work here from Trent Barrett. This is why he's in the side to isolate players with his tremendous ball passing. A little lack of communication there. Paul Green, the teammate of Rickardson and Daniel Wagon, as we indicated, playing at left centre. He was more worried about Ainsco and Gidley on the outside. Luke Rickardson, nice, neat little right foot step, put himself into space. And when he looked up, no Darren Lockyer. There was no one at home. We haven't seen many clean breaks in this origin. Perhaps Lockyer was fooled, out of position. A clear 30-metre run to the line. The Blues open their scoring account. It's a super game of football just at the moment. Good looking. Missed with an early attempt. It's 20 in, 15 out. From this, the western side, and this time, Gedler converts the try of Rickardson. The Blues in front by four. Try converted by Ryan Gurley. Just over seven minutes remaining in this first half. New South Wales six. It's starting to appear. It was coming. And eventually, Barrett. Found the opening. Put the ball into the gap and Rickardson completed. Lockyer starts. Next session of play. And welcome back. As O'Mealy is tackled on the first tackle. It is 6-2 in favour of New South Wales, a converted try. Ryan is on for the Blues. The young boy from Dubbo, from the Parramatta Club in Sydney. Muir. Gower, dummy half now. Barrett puts in a purposeful kick. Lockyer has got Sailor with him. And Sailor is put down. 25 metres out from his own line. This time it's Bowman. One of the Cowboys. Webb. Webke. Webke. Trampled over the top of the Blues. Andrew Ryan was one of them. And he went in pursuit and had another go at Webke. Seven receiver. Fifth tackle for Queensland. 40 metres out from the line. Lock up to the air. A test for Mark Hughes. Down it comes, and Hughes has got it. He's only just got it, but he's got it. He said it was a test for Mark Hughes. They don't come any tougher than that. The ball high, swirling, actually going away from his body when it got close to him. That's just superb. That's why Mark Hughes has retained his place in the side. Mistake free. Ainsco, he's found good metres up the middle of the ruck tonight. Ainsco 
from dummy half from the McDougal play the ball now Muir to the halfway and Darren Smith making sure that he shuts the ball down knowing that Muir is one of the best at offloading kick from Barrett is high up and down in the one place then it's batted away by Fiddler over to McDougal McDougal puts in another kick this time over the head of Lockyer the bounce is interesting Lockyer Lockyer gets it to Kerry they're in their opening goal oh this has been a fantastic chase by the Blues yeah, good reaction they turned a poor kick into a good kick Trent Barrett put a high one up on tackle five. It came down. It was up for Lottery. Fittler knocks it over the head of all the Queensland players out to McDougal. Now he's got a decision. Takes his time. Puts it high and leads the chase. Lockyer under pressure going back for the football. It bounces badly. It gets the ball away to Takiri. But look at the support McDougal gets. Gidley's there. Ains goes there. Rickardson's there. They're all up there supporting it. Great play by the Blues. And also give a wrap here to Lottie Takiri to get back and help Darren Lockyer to give themselves an opportunity to get out of their own end goal. But when they turn, there are a host of blue jumpers confronting them. Good line drop, about 55 on the fly as we come into the last five minutes of the first 40. And Michael Vella takes it back to the 30-metre line. Gower's pass. Just a little bit dubious that time to O'Mealy. Inside the last five minutes, Gower deciding to press the button from dummy half Fittler Barrett 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 still not held now told to play the ball Gower finding Fittler Fittler inside ball for Muir Five last. On the fifth line. and last nine meters out in front of the uprights Barrett again dummies to kick then it's a wave of range go corner post might have gone yeah, ball went loose anyway, Ray. Good defence from Lottie Takiri. No surprise that Trent Barrett decided to run the football. They had plenty of troops. And Ains go in trying to get the football down under the attention of Takiri. Lost the football. Good work from the big winger. In fact, good work from both sides. Yeah. Darren Smith. Pushing away from Gower. Eventually held by O'Mealy and Ryan. As we come close to half time, about three minutes away from the break. Feed. Seven receiver. And a penalty. Inside the 10 is the ruling. When the ball was being played, Bill Harrigan yelled out four or five times, you're in front, you're in front, you're in front, and not one New South Wales player. I mean, look at that, they're all in front of him. He stands his ground and he's yelling out, you're in front, you're in front. That's a lack of concentration in the most important time of the game, two minutes before half time. So, Myers leads the Queensland charge. They're hoping that it will result in a converted try. Lockyer turns it in for Darren Smith. Lockyer looks out towards Sailor's wing. Goes the other way. It's with Campion and now it's with Fien. Lockyer coming to the left of the ground. And on, oh, knock on. In the play the ball. They were just brewing to something. There's Kevin Campion. Just lost control of it. And Chris Close, manager of the Queensland side on the sideline, shows the strain of what Origin football is all about. A great opportunity for Queensland there to maybe put something on on the stroke of half time. A simple mistake that leaves all the pressure, and the Blues should, at the very least, be four in front with 40 to play. Hughes, 15 metres away from his own line. O'Mealy, he's made a strong contribution. A lot of pressure was placed on him. He's got the job done. New South Wales leading 6-2. Gower turns it in for Girdler. Girdler comes to Sailor. Girdler goes looking for McDougal. Finds McDougal. Beats one and is taken to ground. 38 metres away from the line. Minute to go. 
Barrett. Ryan. Quick play the ball. Barrett for Fittler. Fittler's got Rickardson inside him. Lays it back for Rickardson. Scoops it up for Barrett. Barrett kicks over the head of Takiri. And Lockyer comes out from his in goal. And then forced back in goal. Again, pleasing the parochial crowd. Barrett it was. Looking for Ainsco. And Darren Lockyer, who's done a poultice of work, gets it back. The tackle's not completed. And they force him back for a line dropout. And he's limping to the Queensland captain. Line dropout taken by Green. And here's... O'Mealy going back, tackled 25 metres away from the line. Gower, Fittler, Barrett, Barrett kicks, he's looking for Gidley. And the fullback comes across and Lockyer cleans up right on half time. Excellent play by Barrett. They knew that Lockyer was in a bit of trouble. One more test before half time. And Lockyer rose to the occasion. It is 6-2 at half time. The Blues this evening, much different to their first game performance. And that's what I'll be looking for after 10 or 15 minutes, just to see how players react to situations, how they react to mistakes, things that actually go against them. And the match stats. Well, we've got a close score line. I would imagine the statistics are pretty much the same, and they are. Just look at errors and missed tackles there. A few more from the Queenslanders. Two line breaks each. Pretty much possession even. In a game like this, it's going to come down to the wire. And the stakes all important in the second half. Some rain during that first half. Making traction difficult. They handled it like dry weather football we are into the second half seven receiver not held it was left for Vela to clean him up green Lockyer Webke I beg your pardon Lockyer I was about to say if he is unable to kick I think they would come back to the resources of green and Campion strange as it may sound Sivanasiva. Fien is the number nine. Lock it. Left foot kick as the rain comes down again. Hughes. Put away by Myers and Wagon. Back on the Blues 30 metre line. Gidley. Heavy stuck by Webb and Campion. Now on Wheatley. <clears throat> Gallup. Muir. To the halfway line. Sivana Siva and Webb. Barrett kicks for Hughes. Hughes is going to get a regather. Gets a kick on it. Sailor might have knocked on. Yes. Sailor has knocked on, I fancy. Bill Harrigan got a call from the touch judge, Ray. He wasn't sure. Got a call from the sideline. Again, a nice little interchange here between the half and the fullback. Kept it on the toe. They're trying to pick the football up. Was deemed to have propelled it towards the opponent's try line. Yeah, well, did he catch it on his foot? He pulled it backwards there. Now he's got it up between his legs. I can't see a knock on there, Ray, can you? Looking at the slow-mo, I tend to agree with you, although my first thoughts were there's a knock on there. Fittler will play the ball. Eastern side of the ground. Rickardson. Playing in his fourth origin. Vela! Yeah. Barrett. Muir. Beautiful tackle by Green and Bowman. Barrett again. Gower. Yeah. Ryan. 
Raw goes up for the Blues. Gallup on the last. Barrett. Girdler. Turnover. Great defence by Queensland. There was a try saver from little Paul Green. Sail it. That's the tackle. Oh! Ains go! Ains go! Jamie Ains go! Harrigan's going to point to the spot. Harrigan's given it a try. It is a try. The Blues are over. Four minutes into the second half. Well, this game is about making split-second decisions, and Jamie Ains go made one because he saw an overlap was being developed by Queensland. Great hands from Darren Lockyer, opened something up on the outside, and Ainsco had to make a decision right there. He came in, forced the ball loose, towed the ball through, not an easy pick up at speed. He did everything absolutely perfectly, just when Queensland looked like they might have been opening something up on that wide flank. We spoke about him at half time, big match experience. He makes a decision, no fear, no hesitation, he goes in. He doesn't play at that football, he disrupts the play, keeps his eyes on the ball, gets a toe on it. Watch this for a pickup. It's pouring rain here at Sydney Stadium. Look at this. Sensational. Jamie Ainska. The aggression of the New South Wales defence in the Queensland half of the field tonight is a big improvement on what we saw in game one, and it's now produced a try for them. And Phil, that's the important thing we should point out in that try. Jamie Ainska's hand or arm certainly pushed the ball forward, but because he did not play at it, it is not deemed to be a knock-on. You'll yes. see the right arm come here in contact with the football. He's trying to make the tackle, not play at the ball. Yes, that's a perfect illustration of the new rule that came in with season 2001. Conversion successful. 12-2 now, the Blues by 10. Well, that is just the start that Wayne Pearce wanted. O'Mealy. That's dominant, that's one. Villa. We are back. Tackle two since the resumption of play. Played by Muir. Gower runs to the 40 meter line. Shut down by Webke and Campion. O'Mealy. He is a workaholic, the kid from Northern Eagles. Barrett. Salem. Well, the Queenslanders were never headed in game one, and tonight they've been hurt behind on the scoreboard at half time, and now a shock try just after the break. And some of their young fellas will have their heads spinning. Now the experience has to come out from Sailor and Lockyer and Webke to settle things down and not to try and play catch up. It's easy for New South Wales now, it's a kick chase tackle game. Wait for the Maroons to make the mistakes. They're the ones that have got to force the pace. Plenty of ball movement. Webke. from his own line. Green. Lockyer. Beautiful hands. Green again. Bowman. Tackle by Gower. Lockyer. First receiver. Left foot kick. Straight between fullback Hughes, who's with him now, and Ainsco, who's with him. We'll go to dummy half. Gidley takes over that role. Ainsco. Of course, he was under his own pressure, along with McDougall, with the flood of emotion and the appeal from the, the crowd and the media for the inclusion of Nathan Blacklock. There's no doubt Jamie Ainsco had a point to prove coming into this game. And he's done that for the first 47 minutes. What New South Wales need to do now is consolidate. So important when you score points that you don't lose concentration, don't lose focus. Just keep doing the little things right. Fittler driving the ball down towards the try line. Again, in between the fullback and winger. 
Wendell Saylor confronted by a good chase, finds Lockyer. Ewer wrapping him up inside the 20 metre line. And again, the Blues come up with the ball. Gallant got it. He's lost the ball. Harrigan. Harrigan calling on a touch judge. He's putting a scrum down. Well, which way is the feed? Is there any advantage being played go. here to New South Wales? No, he just let it go. Play was Steam, but they go. did get an advantage. That's why we we'll see a Queensland feed. That's all right. That's all right. Hang on, no, hang on. No, it's not. Hang on. I do. We've got a knock on and no advantage play. Give it to him. I forgot the original knock on. Give it to him. Whoa! Give decision to him. He's now, changed. After getting the first knock on, his ball. Knock on that way. There. No, he didn't. He lost the ball. They got no advantage on giving it to Blue. Yeah. What Brad Fittler and Craig Gower are saying, we got no advantage from the knock-on, and Bill Harrigan was going to give the, the scrum feed. He was going to give it to Queensland. He reversed his decision. Protest uphill. Now Gidley. Inside the 20-metre line. I haven't seen that before. Certainly not at origin level. Gower, he's put down. Ainsfield, Barrett, Vella. Do you imagine he'll replace Gower, Phil? Think about that question as we go inside the 10 metre line with Fittler. Fittler running, Fittler goes himself round the corner. Mark Hughes, Burley was plucked out of midair. Again, a tremendous tackle by Bowman. Fiddler, long ball, Barrett runs to them, then he passes for Gidley, Barrett's with him, Barrett's over, Barrett's over, try number three, try number three, New South Wales, 16 to 2. Well, this decision given by the referee to give New South Wales possession will be talked about for quite a while, they look like scoring there after great work from Fiddler. Then they swung the ball to the right-hand side. Matt Gidley, one-on-one -on -one with Daniel Wagon. The big right foot step after receiving the ball from Barrett. Gets him inside. Flicks the pass back inside, in behind Darren Smith. And Trent Barrett reaches out to plant the football over the line. That's great captaincy by Brad Fitton. He won the ball for his team with that interchange with the referee. He came in and stated his case deliberately and succinctly. Harrigan agreed, he got football for his team. A great play down the left-hand side of the field, and then as we highlighted in the first half, he got the first receiver and pushed Barrett out to the right-hand side of the field. Gidley will cut Wagon in two with a right foot step, and a beautiful little pass back on the inside as Smith come to, to support. If you ever get a chance, go and shake hands with Trent Barrett. He's got the biggest hands of any young player you've ever seen in your life, and he, never, he needed every centimetre of them to get that ball down. Well, did he get it down? He got it down. He got it down. He's got the biggest hands of any kid I have ever seen. You said any man in the world. <laughs> any man in the world. You shake hands with him. What's this? The biggest... Oh, he's dropped no, it. He's turn so... it up. It's a try. Oh, oh turn it up. Perhaps the point that I was going to break up, the points are on the board now. We can't change those. I was a bit confused. He went to the scrum and... But they didn't go to where the original knock-on was. He said, oh, well, we're here. We're going to pack the scrum for this knock-on here. We won't bother going over to where the other one was. You'd still be arguing out there, wouldn't you? Oh, here's <laughs> Girdler. Girdler from 22 out. 10 in from touch. He misses. Girdler misses. 16 to 2. The Blues over Queensland. It's controversy after controversy here at the stadium. Oh, he lost it. I think Lewis is right. We'll break it. Kickoff time again. O'Mealy. <laughs> Hasn't this one provided something? Hope you're enjoying it. High tackle on Gallup. Welcome back. That was the high shot we've just seen at the stadium. Came on the fourth tackle, I think it was, on Gower. New South Wales taking the tap. 
And O'Mealy gets it away for Fiddler. Fiddler, State of Origin 2 will go to the Blues. Lady Luck is smiling on them. But let me say this, they are playing magnificently. Well, just have a look at the little step here from Mark O'Mealy. A left foot step, then the leg drive, bursting through tackles, committed the fullback defensively, did everything right to put Fittler away. What a night for the young man from the Central Coast. Took on Webke, the step beat him, burst through Fiend, found himself in open spaces in the first game in a sky blue jersey. What a night for the kids. Well, State of Origin football is about playing for your team and it's about stepping out of your normal roles. It's about doing things that you're probably not famous for. And Brad Fittler, despite being rated as the world's number one player a number of times in his career, probably support players, one of the areas that he's never been that renowned. But he followed the big front rower there and as soon as the front rower stepped around Webke, you could see the smile on Brad Fittler's face. He enjoyed the step. He enjoyed the big fella in broken play. Now he supports him. He's going to enjoy it more because he's going to get a four-pointer out of it. And didn't he love it? Slide, up you get. Bench are happy. Everyone's happy. 20 to 2 is going to be 22 to 2. We're going to ANZ for a decider. Oh, and what a night. What a night. That's a stadium that I don't think has been tested capacity-wise. I think they've made 58, 60,000. They might need to put some seats down on the athletic track. Go for 75. Go for the big one. Good luck. He converts. Where is Richie when you need him? 22 to 2. New South Wales over Queensland. Andrew Boss. Well, Ray, this is Shades of Origin 1 and except it's the Blue Jumpers that are coming through straight after half time. If you think back to game one at Suncorp Stadium, three quick tries put the New South Wales chances to bed. The Blues have done it tonight to Queensland, 6 2 to 22 to 2 since half time. I can just tell you at the break, Wayne Pierce, all he talked about was pressure. Keep the pressure on Queensland in all departments the kickers in defence and just keep playing football and that's exactly what they've done half break again that time it was Vela Gow has lost it Queensland with Darren Smith now uh, copybook tackle there from Kevin Champion it's been an unhappy night for the New Zealand warrior he'll get some joy out of that one as Queensland look to claw their way back into this game second tackle Webke inside the 30 Vela and Ryan combining to make the tackle. Green. Now Lockyer. The game, I guess, is never won. When you've got the talents of Darren Lockyer and Wendell Sale up on the other side of the halfway line. Carl Webb. 20 metres away from the Blues line. Green. Campion. Bowman. His contribution at the other end of the park has been superb. Green's pass finding Myers. Lockyer, Wagon, Wagon kicks. They're going to clean it up in goal. Hughes is there. i tell you what, there wasn't much time. Takiri was coming at him. Yeah, great play by both sides. New South Wales didn't assume the kick on tackle five. They played the run as well. Great interchange of passing here. Presented an opportunity, but Trent Barrett kept himself alive. Gave Ainsco a chance to hold on to Sailor. That allowed Hughes to get behind the line and clean up the kick. Everyone did their job there. Great play by Queensland. They created the numbers. Barrett, keeping alive in defence, allowed Ainsco to watch hold of Sailor. Then they had to kick, and Hughes supported them by coming across at the back and cleaning it up. Good play both sides. Drop out. Taken by Lockyer. Lottie to carry. Back to the 30 metre line. 22 to 2. The Blues. Four tries to none. And three of those tries coming in the opening 15 minutes of the second half. Green for Smith. Darren gets the ball away. Knocked backwards at Harrigan. Lockyer, Lockyer throws the dummy to Webke. 
tries to beat them himself. Tackled on the 20 metre line. Play back to Nathan Fee. Dummies to Webke. Finds Green. Green finds Carmore. Carmore gets it back. Green is with it. He gets it away to Bowden. Bowden away for Darren Smith to knock on. It's a hard pass. Down around the bootlaces. Well, Queensland continue to ask plenty of questions of New South Wales. They don't think the game is gone. And a good decision made by Adam McDougall there to come in and put pressure on once again where an overlap was being created. Like Andrew Ryan. And the first two changes made in this second half by Wayne Pearce. Very good contributions in that period of time from Marco Milley and Adam Newer, the lookalikes. Vela. Stevens. Halfway line. Barrett. Goes back to Gidley. Gidley away for eight. Goals! Can't take it. Yeah, this is great play by New South Wales. Just came unstuck at the last moment. But Barrett going back through the play of the ball. The ball came back in field, back past the play of the ball to Gidley. Now he creates two on one with his winger to Keary. Ainsco took that a little too casual. One handed, he knows it. He looked up, he saw the try line 40 metres away. I'm the fastest man in the world. I'd have got there. Just gets the ball beautifully back through the play of the ball area onto Ainsco. Open territory in front of him. One handed take puts it down. I think the final pass might have been forward. Yeah, I'm with you. Darren Smith. 40 out from his own line. He's locking. Uses Sam. One hour of the game. Expired. Queensland starting to find it a little bit difficult to find holes up the middle of the ruck, Ray. They've got to try and provide a few options. Every time a ball runner's there, there only seems to be one player that's running on the inside. Not much difficulty for the New South Wales defence. Well, Myers is able to play on. Bowden back for Lockyer. Lockyer, tackle. New South Wales, 30 metre line. Here's Fiend. Fiend! Got it away, but it travelled forward. In this situation, you can't blame the kid. Yeah, bad luck for the young debutant from North Queensland. Found some space around the rucks. Gets himself in behind the line. Little jink and right foot step. Whether this passes on, I don't know, but he took the options to pass it. Well attended by the New South Wales defence. Bowden not happy with it. He knows he conceded possession. But that's what being 20 behind on the scoreboard does to you. Yeah, it makes you make rash decisions. I've got a question mark as to whether that ball went forward anyway, Phil. I think that's why Russell Bowden reacted the way he did. He thought it went backwards. We've got Chris Walker about to come into the game for the first time tonight. And this is a very important 20 minutes for points. And I don't think they can win this game. If they get a big scoreline run up against them, all of a sudden the momentum of this series swings around. I know we're going north of the border for the third one. They would love to get the scoreline closer and finish strongly. Ryan loses it. These are the, the chances that Queensland are looking for. Webke. Twenty-point ball game. Three converted tries required. Myers on the Blues 20 meter line. Green. Callow. Green again. Lockyer. Lockyer. And trying to get the ball away to Bowman. Taken down by Fidlup. Here's Webke. Now the last. Green. A test for Ainsco. And it's come down to Barrett. Barrett rolls it away. And New South Wales will get it back. Hughes eventually back in the field of play. Well, that was extraordinary from Trent Barrett. First of all, a great job to get back there and field it for his team. Kept himself alive. What's he doing? Trying to get in the field of play. Now he drags it back to Hughes. He could have lost that football. Brave play. Fletcher. Gower. Gower went to pick that up one-handed as he does. 
Well, as we see Trent Barrett again drive the ball down over the head of Darren Lockyer. I'm going to ask Phil the same question Ray did earlier. Do we see Craig Gow stay out there for a few more minutes and then get the defensive man, Luke Critters, to come in and, and close it down? I wouldn't make any changes while everyone's going as smoothly as it is. He's, he's running out of dummy half his dynamic. He's finding his kickers on fifth tackle and giving them plenty of time. His passing game is good. At the moment, he hasn't been exposed in defence. I wouldn't change it. Everyone's comfortable with the service they're getting out of dummy half. What's the total of interchanges at this point in time? Wagon, seven New South Wales, eight Queensland. And that's about to be evened up with Matt Adamson coming on, although I can also see Petro Sivanasiva about to come back into the game. So that's about to increase by one. Critis also coming to the sideline, so movement on the bench. So 16 and a half minutes to go. As Darren Lockyer drives it down the ground. Hughes. That lovely game of Overcastri and fullback. Ainsco to the halfway. Well, I'm a good judge. Gow is off, Prittis is on. Well done, Gus. That's what makes you a successful coach and commentator that you've come out to be. Adamson. That crowbar and get that foot out of his mouth. Now Fittler. Barrett, what a game. Doesn't like number seven. Doesn't matter what he wears. Here he is again. Here he is again with Hughes. Now Gidley. Now Ainsco. Hughes is with him. Ainsco tried to do the old time Welsh down that sideline. Plays the ball. Now it's with Barrett. Barrett to the 20. Up goes the big kick. And Dogs after it. He's got the ball. He lays it on the ground. Darren Smith has got the ball. A good pressure there from the Blues. You talk about Trent Barrett's dislike for number seven. And I'm going to make a statement about his 5'8 and captain Brad Fittler. This is why he's such a great team man. He has elected to go to first receiver and allow Barrett the opportunity to play at second receiver in his more favoured role. Now, less of a team man wouldn't do that. But Brad Fittler, through his whole career, has been such a great team man and a great leader that he's allowed Barrett to easily slot into this position and not be pressurised by the fact he's got seven on, number seven on his back. Myers... Lays it on the ground, a race for possession. Won by the Blues, and I think it's that man again. No, it's uh, not this time, it was Luke Prittis. I thought it was Barrett. Adamson, taken down by Bowden and Carlaw. 21 metres away from the Maroons line. Fletcher, Fitler, cuts out Vela, goes back. Hughes came in, Girdler loses the ball. It's there for Vela, but it went forward, I believe. Off Girdler. Ladies and gentlemen, double knock on. Maroons get the football. In front of a very big crowd, right? It's impossible to judge crowd. 70,000 odd here tonight. 70,249. Brave the conditions. You don't realise how massive this place is, though, until they put up a crowd. You say, well, heavens above, where are they? Well, they're here, perched up in the highest lofty points that they can find. Even with those vacant seats that you can see from time to time, unusable. This stadium has got 70,000 here tonight. Walker. 32 metres away from the Queensland line. And watching the clock more increasingly now 13 and a half to go and they're 20 points behind and a charge down on Lockyer's kick by Brian Fletcher Fletcher's in a race with Takeri Fletcher's got the ball 10 metres out from the line Riggerton Riggerton got the first try there's been a knock on touch judge with a I think it's a call on Fletcher well, the touch judge had gone downfield anticipating the Lockyer kick, so he was a long, long way away from the play. You see the touch judge in the distance. He's actually started downfield. Now he'll see the charge down, and he's got to sprint back to get him, see where Fletcher picks up this ball. Harrigan wasn't sure whether or not he dropped it. Dropped it. I think he's dropped it there. And it was a good judge by the top, good call by the touch judge to be able to pick it up. It was a very late call, but I am sure they got it right. 
no matter how tardy the call was from whoever it was. Takiri. Here's the front on. This is the angled shot. Definitely knocked on by Brian Fletcher. Nine Network, exclusively covering the state of origin. Myers is hurt for Queensland. Harrigan holding play. Rightly so, the boy almost adjacent to the play the ball. What did happen to him? Ooh, Stevens has come over the top. Yeah, back it up, back it up. There's a couple of things that will come out, I hope, when this match is reviewed on video. Big tackle. Carlaw losing it to Fletcher. Fletcher and Rickardson hit Carlaw with everything. Rickardson surges. Curtis to the right, on his own, on his own. Curtis is not held. Curtis is over. Curtis is over. Queensland come away. Okay, well, video referee, you would think. I actually thought Curtis was tackled short of the line. But there may not have been a defender in contact with the hook of the New South Wales side assured that Critters had every right to get up, improve his position to the extent that he was able to get the ball over the line. Well, he was given a long time to do it, wasn't he? A bit to look at here for the video ref. And when he goes to ground, is anybody holding on to him? Well, I think he might have broken free of Lottie to yeah. carry's tackle. Now the put down. Have to see it again. Has he been tackled? Has he in fact lost the ball? When is the tackle over? Is it over here? No. I think he gets away from Takiri. Now he's struggling. Is he held? Player there, Green drops off and he's able to put the ball down, but does he get it down? Does he drop it? Well, I think that's the only concern. I think he does. When Sivanasuva comes in and makes the tackle, he does release. He just gets to his feet. And unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be conclusive as to whether the ball has been grounded properly. In fact, I'm sure it's not conclusive. Now we come back to the benefit of doubt. <laughs> you want to talk about it? Well, I haven't seen the benefit of the doubt applied this year, and for people who don't watch rugby league that often, in this situation, I think he's dropped it. In this situation, when it could go either way, there was a rule brought in that there would be a benefit of the doubt given to the attacking team. As long as the, all the information was available. And by that I mean whether you can see the football, is it over the line, is it not obscured. I think he's lost it personally. There have been a high incidence of when is a tackle a tackle. I think they're talking 20 metre tap here that perhaps he's lost the ball over the line. Yeah, I think he had every right to get up. I think Sidney Seaver lost him. 20 metre restart. Oh. Lost over the line. 11 to go. Still the margin, 20. And that storming second half by the Queenslanders in game one, two players really stood out. The hooker, John Doyle, who played dummy half, and Gordon Tallis. Now, they may get John Doyle back from game three. They don't get Gordon Tallis, but they're attacking options tonight. Their authority in the middle of the ruck just hasn't been there. And the longer the game has gone, the New South Wales defence has worked out. There isn't that many tricks to this Queensland team. Hughes. He'll sleep contented tonight. So will the dummy half Ains go. So many of these players have been placed under incredible pressure. McDougall got his got his knees high. Adam, He's got him for knees. So, as I said about Stevens' tackle earlier, 
the reviewers. Well, well look, that's, break, eh? that's definitely got to be placed on report and has been by the referee. There is no doubt he comes forward leading with the knee. It's, it's nothing to do with his running gait. It's nothing to trip. It's illegal, and I think will be dealt with. Beatty coming on. I wonder what thought to be going through the mind of Craig Smith. Carlaw heads for the line, gets it back for Beatty. Green, Fiend, Fettler's tackle. There's Slinder up the middle. There's the try for Walker. Chris Walker scores for the Maroons. Well, they almost concede one at the other end of the field, but this is what this side is capable. Coming down the other end of the field. Fairly sparse defence on the far side for New South Wales. And Chris Walker, who does run into holes very nicely. Read it beautifully off the pass from Paul Green. Came back at the angle. That's always difficult to defend against. And Andrew Ryan was unable to come up with a tackle along with Brian Fletcher. In fact, it was just Ryan. Good work by the halfback, Paul Green, to jump into dummy half there. Close to the line, you needed some experience and someone who can make a quick decision. Well read by his teammates. So Lockyer converts. And it is 22 points to eight now. New South Wales with a commanding lead, but the Queenslanders not prepared to give it up yet. Andrew? Well, certainly not, Ray. It's almost as if we're preparing for game three. The decider now in this final ten minutes. And you saw from the elation, Chris Walker, there were still lots of pats on the back. The Queenslanders know they're not going to win tonight. There's no chance they can get out of this. But now we've got to start looking towards game three. I really thought the petrol tank, the gauge, the needle was on empty before they scored this try. And just by the way, Petro Sivanasiva, his replacement, that didn't count as an interchange, of course, with Adam McDougall on report. It's Ryan Girdler restarting. I've got to say, Ray, when we look back at this game, I know there are turning points galore, but one of the biggest ones was the try scored by Trent Barrett. Now, I agree with you. I think, in retrospect, he actually lost the football over the line. Now, Brad Bittler was able to get his side to score again soon after, and the game was gone pretty much straight away. And I think Wayne Bennett will look back and say to his side, well, yeah, we, we didn't get a real good decision our way here. So we weren't that far from the mark. Blues with the ball. And there's a punch up. Beatty's letting them go. Adamson, I think it is, that's on his back in there. Yes, it's Adamson. And Beatty goes in on him again. Well, Beatty's just come back from suspension for punching. I've got an idea that perhaps Adams resented the tackle first of all, but Beatty, once on top of him, kept up the pressure with plenty of blows being thrown. Right, Queenslanders had lost the ball. A little bit of frustration dealing in. Now, Beatty jumps on top of Adamson here and pushes down on his face. Adamson didn't like it, and I think he just may lash out a little bit here. He'll push up with a hand. Yeah, one in the face. Now, Beatty will give him his receipt. 15. One. And that's the one that's cut, Matt Adamson. You'll Two. see that he'll be sent to the blood bin after this. It's, it's not the best place to throw the first one from, is it? No. He obviously resented the initial contact from Beatty, which I think was accidental. My report. New South Wales player, all he really did, he was tackled when he was being held down. Now he did throw the hand up, but it was just a little bit of a, a hand thrown up to get him off. Yeah. Then the Queensland player has been the one that's thrown the punch to him while he's been on the ground. Okay, so, so he's got to go against. So the question is, if he doesn't throw and push his hand up, does he hit him? It was nothing in that, he was just trying to lift him off. The penalties against this right, player okay. is your aggressor. Touch right. charges. Get it out of it, no more. There is no way known that Chris Beattie throws a punch if Matt Adamson doesn't do what he did. Well, he asked a good question, Bill Harrigan, didn't he? So if he doesn't do that, he doesn't throw the punch. Yeah. Bad decision, wrong call. So the Blues. Stevens. Six and a half minutes to go. Barrett into the play again. Harrigan led the defence council for Chris Beatty very well there. Now Fettler. Fettler will go there. Fettler's there. The captain has got his second for the night. 
watched him for many, many years. And I've learned to know when he's going to go on his own and when he's going to use teammates. And right from the time Trent Barrett got tackled, he eyed the defence and he said, you're mine. Never at any time did he intend using a support. He always intended to run to the line with that big left foot step. And sometimes in a game you just stand up and say, well, I'm going to do this on my own. I've seen Brad Pittler do this so often. Look at him. Big left foot step, gets inside wagon. That's not a small man on his inside, that's Carl Webb. But the 5'8 pulls through it, plants it down. Great captain's knock tonight by Brad Fittler. Came into the game under plenty of pressure. He was never going to pass that ball at any time. The defence was a little bit staggered as well. You could see that Daniel Wagon had actually gone up a step or two in front of Carl Webb. That made this left foot step of Fittler even more effective because he stepped straight into that hole that was created by both players not coming up together shoulder to shoulder. 26 to 8. The most capped New South Wales player in origin history. Brad Fittler eclipsing Andrew Eddinghausen tonight and equaling the most number of captaincies for a New South Wales side, equaling 13 alongside the name of Laurie Daly tonight and two tries tonight. Yeah, a double for the skipper after a week where he virtually took the blame for origin one on his own shoulders. He honestly said, even though he's a top player, that I'm down on form, but I will produce. I will be active. I will get involved, and we will win. He's backed up everything he said. Girdler, 9 in, 23 out. Girdler misses again. Yes, a strange night for Girdler. 26-8, Andrew. Well, Ray, let's have a look at the blue storm that has hit Stadium Australia in this second half. The tries that have come their way. Ames go first up. The controversial one for Trent Barrett. I was still prepared to say a try. Then O'Neill setting it up for Brad Fittler. Queensland scored 18 points in 15 minutes after halftime in game one. It was New South Wales tonight. And now Freddie Fittler gets his second try for the match. Ray, you mentioned the most capped player in New South Wales history of State of Origin. Never won a Man of the Match award, Brad Fittler, but certainly a contender tonight. 19 metres away from the Blues line. Well, the Man of the Match tonight's being chosen, I believe, by the Australian selectors, not by the nine commentary team. I don't know how we would vote. I'm looking at Peter Sterling. He's giving me those, those little looks. Well, I don't have to vote, which I'm happy about. As Brad Fittler makes a rare mistake. Four minutes to go, 26 8 the score line. Stadium Australia prohibits unauthorised access to the playing area. Customs on Stadium Australia are required. Come on. The, the pickets, the pickets are starting to come through on your, <laughs> on your, on your Kyber. Come uh, on. Come on, say something. I'm just glad that it's not my decision because it's not something I'm, I need to tonight. The errors against Queensland. Look, I, I still think I would have gone Trent Barrett as Brad, as Darren Lockett almost straight through. And Barrett comes up with a tackle because of the performance in the first 40 minutes. I thought that's where Barrett was outstanding when the game was still on a knife's edge. Barrett penalised for holding down. Yeah, I tend to agree. Fittler, O'Mealy, Ainsco, Rickardson, they've all been good, but Barrett has been exceptional. Bowden, Green, smothered by Stevens. We'll get the King's opinion in just a moment. Fiend. Oh, Beattie puts it down. No advantage, the Blues, they'll get the loose head and feed. Wally. Yeah, I don't uh, differ at all from Bill Gould. I think Fittler's been out there. A host of them coming after, I think, a number of their, their new players, particularly O'Mealy. He is the one that really has injected plenty of life into this side. Wonderful to be able to start off a debutante so young, bringing so much pride and passion into the New South Wales team. What thoughts have you got? projecting to ANZ uh, well on this performance tonight well I think that they're going to be fairly grumpy leading into the match no doubt about that really interesting to see just who is going to be available like I couldn't agree more the inclusion I think of John Doyle he's going to be one that uh, will be looked forward to whilst he's playing hooker in the Queensland team it's almost a little bit of fact that uh, keeps escaping people that he's 95 96 kilos so he's certainly got the volume to be able to, to create get another defensive forward in the line and use it. He does it pretty well, but he also offers a great variety in attack. Muir putting it down, but we saw just prior to that another good run by O'Mealy. He has really grabbed the opportunity, hasn't he, Mark O'Mealy? Yeah, the game's in good hands, isn't it? But we're a lot of reports about how we're losing some of our star players, but a lot of players just step up into that breach. O'Mealy, Carl Webb, Nathan Freen playing State of Origin after a handful of first-grade matches. 
It's a production line that will continue on, and we will always have great players displaying their wares at the elite level. I think a wrap too for the New South Wales coach Wayne Pearce. We haven't mentioned him. A lot of plaudits for Wayne Bennett in the first game as Queensland knocking on yet again on an early tackle. A lot of plaudits for Wayne Bennett in the first game, how he prepared his team. Wayne Pearce has answered the challenge tonight. A beautifully prepared football team. All the right tactics, all the right moves, great attitude. And I'll take the momentum into game three, I'm sure. Andrew Ryan. Prittis is with it. Last 25 seconds. The Blues by 26 to 8. Five tries to one. In front of a crowd of 70 and a quarter thousand. Barrett chips ahead. Lockyer says thank you. Responds the way he does so well. Here it comes. Not over for Andrew Ryan. Ryan's away. Then he kicks. McDougall's after it. McDougall and Sailor. And it's gone over the dead ball line. Well, they played it right to the final second. 26 to 8. The series is locked up. It is one all. As we go to ANZ Stadium, keeping in mind that statistic that must ring in everybody's ears. If you're a Blues supporter, Bennett, Wayne, back in the sheds.